Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and this is a lock pick kit that I've been wanting to review for literally years. I just haven't had a chance to do so until now. So Sparrow's Lock Picks, full disclosure, sent me this set for the purposes of this review, but it's not a paid review and I don't get any money off sales of any Sparrow's equipment. I've worked with Sparrow's in the past, hope to continue to work with them in the future. Uh, but all thoughts my own, and like I said, it's not a paid advert, um, but they did send me this kit. So yeah, let's uh, let's crack on with the review then. So what is this? This is a Ranger set. Uh, it's clearly designed to be um, hung off, um, you know, a, a vest or a belt. Here are, uh, hopefully this won't sound too loud on the uh, mic, but uh, these are really strong um, clips on here. These press fit um buttons, I don't know what you want to call them, <laughs> but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So that would obviously attach to a belt. You've got uh, loops here that it could attach to a vest with some clips, I think. And yeah, really, really strong. So that's not coming off in a hurry. And the kit itself um, is in this pouch, but it won't come out until you, and again, sorry about a bit of a noise warning here, headphones warning. There you go. Then you can literally pull this whole kit out. So this can remain on your belt or vest and uh, this now is your pick set. Now, I'm not entirely sure who the audience of this is, but from looking at the inside, it's a combination of uh, jigglers, bypass tools, and uh, lock picks and shims. So it's uh, it's it's really an all-round uh, entry kit, and I really do like this. It's got a couple of very big zips on there, and it opens up as you can see here, to show quite a full little kit. What do we get? Well, I don't know where to start, so we'll start here um, on this. I've always liked the Sparrow's dog tag things. We've got some of the jigglers here for wafer locks. These are like cabinet wafer locks, the kind of things that you'd find on a filing cabinet, that kind of thing. So these are really cool. Just double-sided jigglers. You can flip them over one side or the other side to try and open your lock. So we'll have a look at those in a minute. So they probably work on some small wafer padlocks as well. We have a whole bunch, this is what I really like here, a whole bunch of turning tools, uh, both twisted and um, some double-sided Z wrenches. So here you've got three plus another three plus another three uh, turning tool ends. So you know, it gives you nine different turning options. Is that enough? Well, you can never have enough turning tools can you really, but um, nine is a good start and certainly um, will get you into a lot of locks. We've got a whole bunch of lock picks, a mixture of, which is good to see um, in a kit like this, rakes and picks. A lot of favorites in here. Uh, got is, is this a low HD? I can't remember. Um, uh, somebody will correct me, whatever that one is. We've got a Euro hook, no, a short hook, a Euro hook, a city rake, a worm rake which I really like on wafer locks and a triple peak rake there as well so you get six sort of lock pick tools and uh, yeah good mixture of rakes and picks I think this is like a, an all-rounder kit it's not a specialist kit for um, hobbyists it's designed to you know be able to pick open the most common locks that you might encounter uh, we have a couple of bypass tools here we have a um, a knife here, bypass knife, and we also have a little gym for slipping latches. Um, we'll come on to that in a second. And in this pouch, although you could really put anything, but this actually comes with a whole bunch of little packs. And in these packs are, open this up, some padlock shims. And those padlock shims will all fit as it happens, in this little pouch here. And you might think, well, how many padlock shims? And well, I'll show you. It's a whole lot of padlock shims as it happens. I'll probably never get them in the same way again, but look at this, there's a whole bunch of padlock shims, all the different sizes here. Um, is there any more in there? Yeah, I think it's a couple more have escaped me um, at the back here, so you get a whole bunch of padlock shims. So yeah, you can see it's a mixture of sort of bypass tools and turning tools and lock picks and, and wafer picks and shims. I mean, it's it's, it's kind of an all-in-one kit and, and that's sort of why I wanted to review it. I think it's a kind of unique in that regard. So where do we start on a kit like this? Well, let's have a look at the general fit and finish of the tools. Um, 
These are sparrows, so they're all, I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe they're all a max yield stainless. They're certainly very strong. I've used sparrows picks for years. And the finish and tumbling of these, if you just look at this, you can see that there's no hard, rough edges on any of these. Um, I tend to use them straight out of the pack when I use sparrows picks. They do, however, as part of this uh, little sort of thermo plastic or rubber, what well, I don't know what the rubberized handles, um, there can be a little bit of over dipping. And what you can do with that is just run a, a blade around them like this and just remove the excess if it bothers you um, like that. And it comes off so simply and easily. Um, and then you can just trim them up however you like. Uh, uh, most of the time you can get away without doing that but I noticed on this knife it was particularly um, bad so I'm just going to run this around there like that and then just slide that off um, so it takes a few seconds but otherwise yeah these these picks are all made and done very nicely personally I'm a bit of a fan of this sort of thermo plasticky rubberized, I don't know what you call it, handles. Um, I find them quite comfortable, um, even though they do have a little bit of flex to them. It's something that you either will like or you won't, but um, uh, you know, I, I think they actually perform pretty well. Here are those wafer jigglers, double-sided, up a bit close, very, very nice. Before I go on to my conclusions, where I look at the pros and cons and things I'll improve in the future, I do like to do a demonstration of some of the tools in this kit, so I'll just pick a few that I think will uh, show this kit off and uh, yeah I'll see you in a second. So this gym is quite useful at grabbing hold and pulling latches especially sort of internal door latches where there's a gap in the door to be able to slip behind some of these um, latches like that so you do have a little loop which you can put your fingers in to give you a little extra purchase as you because it doesn't have a very long handle then you get behind here and you can see how if you pull um, this back on these door latches you can often I'll just show you there so you can often just pull that through and it slips um, the latch obviously it's not in a door so I'm uh, having to just sort of help it a little bit with my fingers there to tap it down but, but you can sort of pull the door latches aside using this gym on the other side you can use this to sort of um, get in there and sort of work the uh, latch down and um, like this and again it's not in a door but you can use this to sort of just get past the latch the other way. So you either pull or push these la latches if you've got access, um, usually on internal doors, where there isn't a door jam covering up the, the locks. So you can use these gyms to that effect. A bypass knife like this can be used to bypass these unshielded padlocks. You gently pull on the shackle while just withdrawing the locking mechanism at the back of the lock like this and it takes a little bit of skill, but you can get there. It can take a little bit of force. You might be able to see some markings on my hand from doing that. Let's do some lock picking. I've got this nice little Yale here. Gonna put some bottom of the keyway tension in. I've got the triple peak, and we're going to see if we can't um, get this open via raking. Um, I don't see why we can't, and there we go. Got that open. This is fantastic lock to pick, full of spools, lots of fun. I think we can pick it just using some boss with keyway tension and a short hook. So that's what I'm going to attempt. Uh, just going to go along now and click any pins that feel like they are binding. Already we're in that nice full set. So I'm going to just um, keep pressing up on those pins as they feel like they are. Give me cancer rotation and just keep going through. No stress. Just let the lock tell me where it wants me to concentrate and soon we will get that elusive open. We just need to find that last uh, pin, which is pin one here, and we are open. Look at that. With this super low profile pick, I'm going to pick this nice spoolie Abus. Five pins, uh, lots of cans rotation in there, so just gonna go through the lock again, and anything that feels like it's giving me feedback, I'm just gonna press up on, and we are already open. And last but not least, we have this very, very big chunky zone padlock, which does have spool pins in, does have security pins in, but we can basically ignore that because of its terrible bitting. I'm going to use a city rake in this lock, uh, which is, can be very effective in the right lock. There we go.
Here are the wafer jigglers and I have a wafer padlock here. And I think that these might work in this. So you sort of have to, first of all, sort of get underneath the wafers and yep, there we go. They can be that effective. Uh, very good on those filing cabinet locks as well. And the only thing left to demonstrate now are these padlock shims. So I think I'll choose a couple of the medium shims about that size. You don't have to go too big. Pop these down the side of a shackle like this. Rotate them around um, and keep them down at the same time. So I'm going to press in the desk. That's one. Try the other side. This is a Portuguese padlock actually. Um, like that and then you can push a shackle down turn those in once they're in that position you should have the pulls fully retracted you should just be able to pull the whole padlock apart like that so yeah these padlock shims can be super useful when you uh, don't have the skills or time to open up a padlock by lock picking so there you go that's the sparrows ranger set lots of very effective tools in here as i hope you saw by my demonstrations uh, what does this cost you uh, bear in mind you get like the inner case the outer sort of belt slash vest um, attachment thing and all the things you see inside it including those padlock shims which are all down here it comes to 72 us dollars or about 62 pounds 55 pence or 71 euros and 86 cents at the time of filming and today's exchange rates obviously that will change over time so do check before you buy um yeah I mean, I, I think you get quite a lot here and they're all kind of super effective. I like to do pros and cons and things I would uh, change or do differently. So I think the pros are you get a whole bunch of very useful sort of jigglers, bypass tools and lock picks. This is a really nice entry level one stop shop for people wanting to do non-destructive entry into a very wide range of common locks. Clearly this isn't um, designed for specialist or super high security locks, but this will get you into a huge amount of the most commonly found locks, especially those found in North America. So that's a pro. Um, the quality of the tools are, as always with Sparrows, very good. I like the case. Uh, I like the selection of everything and I like the fact that there are a decent range of turning tools, although yes, there always could be more, um, but there never is enough turning tools in any lockpick set, just because of the nature of lockpicking, you always need more turning tools than lockpicks. So on to cons. Um, I can't think of many cons. The handle on the knife tool is a little uncomfortable, I would say. Uh, I don't know what you could do about that other than to say, please use gloves. I think with that, um, it, it can really dig into your palm when you're really pushing in and pushing up. Um, I can't think of any other like cons, but I can think of some stuff that I would do differently or at least add. One thing this kit sort of feels like it's missing is some form of deeper hook. I've got a sort of a, a deeper sparrows hook here. And, um, and I think a Sparrow's Lunatic, and you can see how they are markedly deeper than the ones that you get in the kit here. So this kit doesn't come with these, but I would definitely recommend, there's definitely room in here to add them, get a couple of extra deeper hooks as well. It will certainly make uh, this kit open up even more locks, ones with slightly more extreme bitting. So that's um, a change I'd like to see. The only other thing I can think of which isn't in here is maybe the American lock bypass tool. That would be kind of cool to slide in here as well. Again, um, it's not necessarily a bad thing about this kit, but it's something that I would maybe think, hmm, I'd probably add that to this. And maybe a decoding um, uh, a tool as well, one of the, the thin sort of uh, foil like decoding tools that would go well in this kit as well so uh, they're not really cons but it's more like if you were going to buy a kit like this and you wanted a range of bypass tools definitely your a decoding tool and maybe the american lock bypass tool would fit in here well as well as a, um, one or two deeper hooks um, but that's that's really about it um, overall i think it's a really really good kit um, well thought out a really good starting point but i'd like to know what your thoughts are on this what do you think to this kit do you have one do you own one would you use one um let me know in the comments below i do read them all and reply to as many as i can 
if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. If you like this video, leave a like. And of course, I will see you all next time.